Welcome back to Guru Beauty. I am Jodi. Today, I'm reviewing for you a foundation that's been out a while from YSL. Yves Saint Laurent released this foundation called the Le Teint Touche Eclat Foundation as an extension of their very famous cult product, the little clickable brush pen highlighter called Touche Eclat. This has been available for probably a year or two now, much like the Touche Eclat, which is typically a highlighter that people would use on the high points of their face and also under their eyes for a brightening radiant effect. This foundation is meant to be illuminating brightening and radiant. Looking at the YSL website, they describe this foundation by saying, for the first time, the magic light of Touche Clart is in a foundation. Infused in a weightless fluid, Touche Clart foundation targets shadowy areas and highlights the contours of the face. With buildable coverage and free of opaque fillers, this foundation's perfecting texture evens the complexion and helps conceal imperfections, enhancing your skin's natural beauty. Available at least in the States in 17 shades with what they say in America SPF 19 broad spectrum UVA UVB protection you have a decent amount of choices of shades this is retailing in Australia for 82 Australian dollars and I want to share with you my thoughts on this foundation I'll give you a demonstration of the application as well as how it lasts throughout the day on my skin which is 38 years old it's also combination oily and we've got concerns of pigmentation that requires coverage we've got concerns of oil breakthrough in the t-zone that a foundation needs to hold up to and we also have pores that certainly need smoothing and they don't want to look worse so if you want to see what i think about the ysl la tante touche club foundation for that kind of skin type keep on watching first up the packaging you get the standard 30 mils or one fluid ounce of foundation in this product and it's in a heavy duty luxurious glass tube First thing about a glass tube, if you smash it on your bathroom tiles, you have a whole big mess to deal with, as well as a wasted $82 product all over your floor. So not great for smashing on tiles, looks lovely on the vanity. We have a lovely luxe gold top when it comes off. You will see that this product does come with a pump. It dispenses a very nice amount of product. I use probably two to three pumps to get a nice coverage on my face and uh, the pump certainly works very nicely and the lid stays on relatively well as well. For my NC25 skin and I self tanned in the last 24 Four hours um, but this shade matches me either self tanned or not I've been matched to the B 50 shade they do have a BR 50 shade which is a little bit more pinky toned I like this one because it's a little bit more neutral without being too yellow so what I will do is share with you the application of this foundation you'll see it going on how much coverage does it give what kind of finish does it have and also how it lasts throughout the day and I'll be back to share with you my final thoughts on this product Looks like I'm wasting time But I'm so far behind I may as well resign Myself to wait Only surgency Makes the tiniest thing be Enough to face me So I have just buffed in one layer of the YSL La Tante Touche Eclat foundation and I would say that the shade B50 is a decent match for me. If anything, I have just self tanned last night. It's a tiny bit lighter, but I think this is absolutely perfect. So at this point, I would say that the coverage that I've gotten from one layer using a flat top 
buffing brush is definitely a medium coverage. I would say it certainly has evened everything out. The finish is a little bit dewy. You can see I've got a bit of a sheen bouncing off here, but certainly not overly so. I certainly don't look greasy or oily. The pores and everything do look slightly smoothed out. They certainly don't look any worse or gaping or anything like that. It certainly did have a lovely typical YSL floral scent upon application, but I certainly don't notice that once it's on my face. Overall, everything's looking lovely and healthy right now. I will apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to let you know how it's looking. Probably 15 minutes have passed now and the foundation is still looking lovely. I've just put some concealer under my eyes and around the corner of my nose. Otherwise, the coverage that I'm getting from the YSL is fairly decent at that medium coverage level. I've still got a bit of a sheen, just a healthy sheen to my face, nothing glowy still. Um, but I am going to set just my T-zone area today using a little bit of Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Just pressing it on. Then just using a loose fluffy brush, just brushing off the excess. 12 hours on after applying the Latente Touche Clat and this foundation is standing up very, very well. I did wear a Galan primer. It doesn't stop any oil breakthrough coming through for 12 hours. And do remember that I did also wear a Laura Mercier loose powder very, very lightly in the T-zone. I have not added any powder or any other foundation product to my face throughout the day in the 12 hour period. I have added some concealer under my eyes and just a dab of concealer down the bridge of my nose here, but I have not blotted, I have not touched up, and you can see that my skin does have still a radiant glow, but um, certainly nothing greasy. And just keeping in mind that my nighttime lighting and filming setup means that often any kind of dewiness really does bounce off and look um, quite reflective, much more so than in real life. But I think what I see in the monitor tonight is pretty representative of what I see in the mirror in person. And uh, I'm really impressed with this foundation. Now I do have combination oily skin and I will often get some oil breakthrough. I did kind of keep my eye on my nose today. And you know, there were times I would say that my nose probably looked a little bit more dewy than the rest of my face, but I probably just touched it just to kind of see, okay, what happens with this product? You know, is it oily? I haven't added anything. I haven't used anything in particular, not even a clean powder puff to um, blot this product so really impressed at the 12 hour mark I still have that lovely medium coverage I still have that lovely luminous radiant glow coming from uh, within and um, everything still does look lovely youthful smoothed out so this product definitely at the 12 hour mark for me, based on my experience with these particular product combinations that I've used today, gets a huge two thumbs up. I would say that if you have oily skin, you probably would need a blot, need a touch up throughout the day, at least once or twice during a 12 hour mark. I've had a really positive experience today, but then there have been other combinations of products where I have needed to touch up. Based on my experiences today, two huge thumbs up. I think it still looks absolutely fantastic. So there you go. That's how the foundation lasted for me throughout the day. A few other notes about this foundation. I do think that it is definitely illuminating, which is lovely. I feel like my skin does have a lovely radiant look to it without looking greasy. I think that this certainly does photograph very well. It's a nice one for film. According to what I see on the YSL website, this one does provide some SPF coverage that is broad spectrum, but SPF 19 is not the best. So I would ensure if you are wearing this in the day, that you are bolstering the SPF with an SPF 50 underneath definitely is recommended. A lightweight powder is all you need with this foundation so it doesn't go cakey and I think that you'll be really impressed with the results there. In terms of fragrance it's got a perfumed floral fragrance typical of YSL products. I really quite enjoy that and this is a foundation that you can apply with your fingers, you could apply with a sponge, you could apply with any kind of brush and it's going to blend in relatively well and build up also. This is not a full coverage foundation, this is a medium coverage foundation so it's going to be for those of you who don't want extra super duper coverage, who don't need full coverage, you just want more of a radiant finish to your skin, something that's going to look illuminated and glowy without 
covering everything and giving you a mask like effect. So as I get a little bit older and I'm more aware of looking too matte, too dehydrated, this foundation certainly serves very well in giving me enough coverage to cover my hyperpigmentation. Also certainly doesn't make my pores look worse, it's relatively smoothing and I love the hydrated look that this foundation gives. It does require a little bit more attention, it's not one that you just apply in the morning and forget about throughout the day. You do need to just sort of check in and see, you know, do you need to check any parts of your T-zone or repowder or blot any areas, but I think overall the effect at least on my skin, is totally worth it. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a gorgeous day. Don't forget, you are beautiful. Don't forget to behave that way, and I will see you again really soon. Bye.